Here's a stupid question with a simpler answer. Why in the world is the Biden administration letting so many migrants in? And why in the world did they stop the Texas government from implementing their border wall with the barbed wire, which obviously would hurt people if you walk into barbed wire, but it stops people going. Why did they sue them to take it down? It makes no sense. Every American knows our border is not secure. Texas is doing the good stuff, putting in this barbed wire, and the administration is literally suing them. The federal government is suing Texas to take down those fences. What, what, why? What, what, what's, what, what's up with that? Well, the simple answer is, uh, I'm going to say the answer because I'm an idiot. The simple answer <coughs> is because there's a specific, oh, actually, it's, it's in the title. There's a specific amount of migrants that ev that is good for the Democrats to let in every single month. That number is around 300,000. They finally hit it, and once they hit it, Texas implemented this barbed wire thing, and now they're suing them to do it because it's the perfect number. It's around 300,000. It works great for the migrants. Of course, Joe Biden is not in charge of anything. Joe Biden is a brain, brainless, you know, dead animal who literally his carcass gets dragged around by his wife. It's very embarrassing for him, but he doesn't have a brain to realize it, that his carcass is getting dragged around by his wife. So he's not in charge of the government, and everyone keeps on saying that Obama's in charge, and obviously that's true in a sense, but it's not true in a physical sense. So who is his man on the inside? It's Blinken. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is obviously in charge of the government. And so he gets the commands from the from 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 Obama, and he implements them. And so his number is three hundred thousand. Now you want to know why three hundred thousand? Well, too much, more than three hundred thousand. They start spilling over into the rich neighborhoods. That happened a little while ago, and they were able to fix that. But too much is is, is not a good thing. But too little is also not a good thing because then they can't request enough money. So every government, every democratic threat. Whether they like it or not, they keep saying, oh, we don't like all these migrants coming to our country. You know, the, the thing, right? We don't like it, but more, more, bring more, bring more. We hate it. We hate you. Come to our city, right? We're a sanctuary state, but we hate that you're coming here. Well, why do they keep on doing this? Because of the welfare that they can request from the federal government. Now, the federal government gets all these requests. It goes to Congress and says, look, we have all these requests. What can we do? We need all the money. And so they get billions upon billions of extra dollars they wouldn't have otherwise get. And then there's always excess and extra. And where did the money go? I don't know. And so there's always this extra money that goes to people's pockets. And that's why they need a certain amount of migrants. If it's too many migrants, it's an issue because then they're asking for too much money from Congress. And Congress freaks out and says, okay, we are putting a stop to this. So it's got to be the perfect amount of money. And it is. And everything works out beautifully. And then Texas goes and puts this wall up with all these barbed wire. And, and now the migrants can't get through and the numbers are dropping. We know in two months the numbers are going to start going down. And we're going to have to ask for Congress for less money. And it's going to be a whole issue. It's not good. We have a re-election to go. We need to ask for billions upon billions of extra dollars. Trillions. All the money. And so that's what's been going on. And so th that's, that's the reason why that. And the reason why... Um, my, that's why they want the migrants to keep on coming. Again, it's a very specific number. Now, I think the reason is because um, Anthony Blinken is trying to get, also another thing, is that he's trying to get Joe Biden kicked off the ballot. The problem is that Joe Biden will not leave the ballot, so he's going to win a, a, a primary. There's no way he's not going to win the Democratic primary. So right now, Joe Biden will win a primary, and then for whatever reason, they're going to kill him, they're going to shoot him, he's going to die, or he's going to say, oh, it's health reasons. Oh, I'm unhealthy. And they're going to they're gonna replace him. And who are they going to replace him with? Well, everyone thinks now it's Michelle Obama. But realistically, she can't be controlled by the by the Democratic elite, right? The Democratic elites are the ones that got Joe Biden elected. They said, um, who, who can who can who can be our our political pawn? Can't be Kamala Harris. She's way too manip manipulatable, right? You have some random activist says, Go do this. And then she just goes and does it because she's just completely manipulated. So she's useless to us because we want to, we want her to listen to us, not other people. And she can't use her. Bernie Sanders, I mean, that guy we hate so much, we'd rather kill him than let him become president. So he's out of the question. And who is there? It's a 2020 election. You know, there's not a lot of people. Mayor Pete Buttigieg, I mean, that guy has the worst of both sides. He's incompetent. He never shows up. And when he shows up, he does all the wrong things. So he's not good. So who, well, it's Joe Biden. Joe Biden's great. Well, the problem with Joe Biden is that uh, we don't like him and he's racist and all the problems that he has. So Joe Biden comes to these Democratic leaders and says, hey, I'm going to make a deal. Okay, you get me elected 
and I'm going to put into my. I'm obviously going to get the woke and the DEI people, of course, because every every Democratic leader has that. But I'm going to fill my administration with all the Democratic Jews, the rich Dem Democratic Jews that you love. I'm going to flood my administration with them, and so I become president. My carcass will be dragged around the United States by my wife, and and everyone's going to be great. And all the Democratic elite policies are going to be perfectly implemented by all the democratic jews and it's not a bad thing it's just it's actually good they're really they're really talented people and you have anthony blinken who who literally does the perfect amount he really plays the game perfectly where it's like he calls for a ceasefire in gaza and he says but you have to destroy hamas and and ceasefire in lebanon and we want we really don't want this war to expand but we're we're creating war plan battle plans now for the inevitable war and he's this perfect mix of give and take and he looks really good on camera but he looks shy and quiet and peaceful and everyone's like oh he can never get elected yeah he can't win a primary but he can win a general election a landslide especially against trump all the independents would laugh him up and so when it comes to the border right he's creating this obama policy of we're woke and we're DEI and we love the migrants, but not too many migrants, but it can't be too little migrants. So if Texas is going to do that, we're going to we're going to sue them. And it's perfect for me because everyone's going to hate Joe Biden, who's still going to win the primary, but he's never going to get into the general. And so I'm going to take over or or maybe Michelle Obama will take over and it'll still it'll be even better for, for Blinken because the secretary of state under Michelle Obama would be great because she's not really such a politician and she doesn't really want to be there. So she wouldn't have to get her carcass dragged around. She would do it by herself. She would be there for the DEI, for the woke, for the speeches, but the actual policy would be implemented by Blinken and the gang like Mayorkas and Yellen and Garland, all those people. The reason why Joe Biden was elected is because he said, I'll get those people into my government and you'll love it. And Democratic elites do love it. The crime is perfect. The amount of authoritarian control that they can put onto cities is the perfect amount of crime. It's not too much. It's not too little. You see, California, they went too much. They failed. That's why they don't like Gavin Newsom anymore. It's because he felt like what he did. He went too far. He's supposed to do it slowly. He's supposed to do it incrementally. Look at New York. New York is beautiful when it comes to Democratic elite. The real rich neighborhoods where they actually live, still untouched. Ow. But the, the even the fancy neighborhoods, full of migrants already. So you have this, they're, the actual people who actually matter, they're still good. So this is perfect amount. In California, in LA, in San Francisco, even the rich neighborhoods are destroyed, right? They're just full of crime. It's dangerous to just be there. The streets are filthy, houses are expensive, everything is expensive, the stores are empty, everything is terrible. They failed. But in New York City, it's perfect. You got all these migrants coming in, we got the welfare state, they're asking for billions upon billions of dollars from the government, and we're asking Congress, and at some point, Congress will give us all this money, and the crime is going up, so therefore we have to be more authoritarian, and the police have to get involved. We have these pro Hamas protests, and the police have to go and really beat them up a little bit, and it's really great. And the one people who really profit from this are the Democratic elites. It's not a bad thing. It's not the secret cabal. It's fairly obvious. The Republicans have their own Republican uh, Republican elite. They're just useless. They're they're incompetent. They're actually just terrible, incompetent people, and can get nothing done. And the conservative movement are just a bunch of, you know, religious people who don't want to hurt a fly, and so they're also useless for a totally different reason. So you have this Democratic elite. <laughs> And they know if they want things implemented, there's a bunch of Jews who went, you know, they grew up in, in New York State, not specifically New York City, New York State, and they went to Harvard and they went to Penn and they went to all these different schools and they became lawyers. And they're really, really good at saying, look, I get power, I will do what you want. And that is the way to become a Democrat. And the black community is learning that to do what the Democratic Party said, the elite tells you to do, and everything's good. And that's what's happening throughout America. And that's what's happening at our border. And if people think it's going to change, things going to change, right? They can spin literally anything. They can spin a solid piece of ice as, as water. They can literally do that. They'll say, look, look at this beautiful, solid piece of water. They'll, they will confuse you. And so like, look at the border. It's the Republicans. Well, everyone knows it's not. But at the end of the day, the Democrats will go Democrat and they'll put in place an Anthony Blinken or, or Michelle Obama and they'll get elected and they will have total control over the government. And it's kind of a beautiful thing if you think about it, even though for you it's going to be absolutely terrible and the world will be full of war 
and it'll be very messy, but hey, we won't have Donald Trump in office, we won't have Joe Biden in office anymore, and everything will go exactly according to plan. And again, it's not some big conspiracy theory or some cabal. It's just the regular Democratic Party elites who have a specific vision for America where the rich have a very nice neighborhood and it's also authoritarian and you only get those two different things in this specific way where you have a lot of immigrants, a lot of migrants, and you have to get the welfare state and there's crime but not in my neighborhood. It's very specific but it's very obvious. Anyways, so just answering the question of why Joe Biden would do such a stupid thing which would ruin his chances in, in, a, in a general election of suing the Texas government to take down the barbed wire on the border. That's why. Because Andrew Lincoln is really wants to become president. Or Michelle Obama wants to become president. But I personally think Andrew Lincoln should become president. So that's it. See you next video. Also subscribe.